Chris Hadfield's job just got a little tougher. The Canadian commander is facing a problem on board the International Space Station. Usually, this is the kind of leak Chris Hadfield had to deal with, messing around with his experiments. But take a look at this. Those little white flakes are liquid ammonia floating out from part of the station's backbone. It's coolant, vital for the power systems for those giant solar panels. Time to bring in our Bob McDonald, the national science correspondent, for his insight on all of this. So, Bob, how serious is this leak? Well, Wendy, it's a serious leak, but it's not a serious threat for the people inside the space station, including Chris Hadfield. If we look at an image of the station from the outside, you'll notice there are eight golden solar panels that stick out, make it bigger than a football field. Those collect sunlight for electricity. They also get very, very hot, so they have to be cooled with ammonia the same way that your refrigerator works or the radiator in your car. One of those panels is leaking ammonia, so they've had to shut it down. That means that they're going to have to cut down on their power use, but there's still lots left, so it doesn't threaten the habitation part, but it did wreck that one panel. So how do they fix it? Well, unfortunately, all the plumbing for that ammonia is on the outside of the station, right at the base of the wing. So tomorrow, two of the astronauts have to put on spacesuits and go outside and actually fit it, fix it. And it's real plumbing. It's like pipes and hoses and clamps and radiators. So they got to go out and see if they can fix it. Hopefully they have spare parts to do that. And uh, this piece has already been repaired once, so they don't know if it's a bad repair from the last time or if it can be fixed again. So we're all going to find out tomorrow when they really go out there. This is, this is real innovation when, you know, you got an old house and something breaks, you got to go outside and fix it. And they're coming home soon. Could this delay Hatfield's return? Uh, it might. If they don't fix it tomorrow, they may have to do a second spacewalk, and who knows, maybe Chris will be the one to do it. He's been out before, and I know he's itching to get out again. Thanks so much, Bob. We'll see what happens. Thank you. Okay, Wendy. Bob McDonald, our science correspondent in Vancouver tonight.